Welcome to English class, everyone. Today is a very special lesson because you get to meet Mrs. G Teacher. Mrs. G Teacher and I are going to make a very special Canadian Christmas food. It is called a meat pie. It is like a regular pie, but inside there is chicken, pig, beef, potatoes, and onions. Oh, and also butter. And it is delicious. I am very happy that I can show it to you. Are you ready? Let's go! All right, class, you are now in G Teacher's kitchen with Mrs. G Teacher. Hello! So, Mrs. G Teacher, tell us about what is on the cutting board and what you're doing. Well, I have two onions, half of a very big carrot, and some celery. I am preparing chicken for a pork, potato, and chicken pie that we eat traditionally in Canada at Christmas. Now, I am going to chop the onions. I am putting them in the pot. I am going to chop the carrot. I am putting it in the pot. take some celery. And I will put it in the pot. Now I have four chickens. I bought them at the market. I am putting them in the pot with the vegetables. I have an herb from Canada called summer savory. You cannot find it in Korea. It is only in Canada. I will put some in the pot. I have salt to make things tasty. I will put some in the pot. in the pot with the food. <laughs> this will be very heavy to lift. very heavy. Now, I will turn on the stove and wait for the 
this to cook. It will take many hours, but I am patient. And so is G teacher because he will get to eat the delicious food. Mrs. G teacher, what are you doing? I am going to peel potatoes to put in the pies. Now I am cutting the potatoes so I can cook them for the meat pie. Mrs. G teacher, what are you doing? Remember the chicken we cooked in the pot? Well now I am going to take the meat off of the bone because the chicken is cooked. Oh. It's a little messy. So, Mrs. G teacher, what will you do now? Well, now I will chop the onions into little pieces to put in the pie. Now I will fry the onions before I put them in the pie. Wow, that's a lot of onion. Mmm, smells delicious. Now it's time to mash those potatoes. I will use my potato masher and squish them. What are you doing now, Mrs. G teacher? Wow, it's almost time to get the pies completely finished. I'm going to mix the chicken, the pork, the potatoes, and the onions all together in this big pot. First, I will add some potatoes. Then, I will add some chicken. Then, I will add some pork. And I will add some onions. I will do this three or four times until all the ingredients are gone. So, Mrs. G teacher, what's next? Wow, we're almost finished. It's time to make the pie crust. The first thing I need is 450 grams of shortening. That's a pound if you're in America. Oh, I'm gonna have to get another container. There we go, 448 grams. That's enough. Now I need nine cups of flour. This recipe makes a lot of pies. One. And I need one tablespoon of baking soda. Now I have 
to mix this all together. I, I'm going to use my hand. I washed my hands. Now, we're going to roll the dough to make a pie crust. I'm going to move this so you can see. I use a little bit of flour to make sure my rolling pin doesn't get stuck on the dough. Now, I take my pie crust and I put it on the pie plate. Remember that filling I made earlier? Well, now it's time to use it. I'm going to take some scoops of it and put it in the pie. Okay. That looks good. In a minute, I'll put the top crust on the pie. All right, this pie crust is rolled out. I'm ready to put it on the meat pie. Gotta cut some air holes. Now I take this meat pie and I put the top crust on top. Oh, that's too big for the pie plate. I'll cut it around with my knife. All right, put that back in the bowl. Now I press the layers of pie crust together like a mandu dumpling. Now it's time to put the pie in the oven. Woo! It's hot! It's going to bake in there for about 30 minutes or half an hour. Okay, it's time to take it out of the oven. Let's see how this pie looks. Mmm, crispy and delicious. It looks perfect. And that is what a meat pie looks like. Mmm, I can't wait. All right, everyone. So now we have our meat pie. We have our butter. We have a sharp knife, and we have a lifter. Then here we have plates, forks, and knives. It's time to eat. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. So let's see. We have to be very careful because it is big and messy. Mm. I can't wait. Then I get some butter. Put it right on the top here. And then I cut off a piece and mmm, mmm, 
I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's delicious. I wish everyone was here so you could try the meat pie. It is so good. All right. Now, Mrs. G Teacher and I are going to eat. I'll talk with you later. Goodbye.